Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study or we'll have complete information regarding the mango in a, in a very quick fashion. Okay. First, let's start with the mango. You know, mango is a tropical fruits. Okay. And it is the national fruit of our country. It is the king of fruits also. Next, it is the, when you talk about the botanical name of mango, it is Magnifera indica. That is 2N, a corrosion number is 2N is equals to 40. When you talk, talk about Mangifera indica, then it belongs to the family that is Anacardiaceae and its origin is Indo Burma regions. Point by point, I am going to tell you the entire things. Okay, when you talk about the polypolyidy levels or the polyidy level, sorry, polyidy level of the mango, then it is a low tetra poly, um, polyidy. Okay, regarding the mango. Okay, now next point, when you talk about a disease, okay, this disease is a mango malformation is a fungal disease also, and as well as this is caused with the low temperature effect also. Okay, then this mango malformation, this disease was first reported in Bihar, state, state Bihar eh, in 1891. Next point. When you talk about the Malvo variety of mango, then this, this Malvo variety is highly susceptible to the water log conditions. Which variety? Malvo variety. Okay. And you see, when you talk about the nutrient success, then mango can withstand the deficiency of phosphorus, but mango cannot <coughs> withstand the deficiency of potassium. You know, potassium and phosphorus, both are the macronutrients. Okay. Now, let's talk about some few more things. When you talk about the edible, this edible part of mango, then it is mesocarp and the fruit type, it is <clears throat> droop or stone. Okay. Now, when you talk about uh, and this, uh, whether it is climatic or non-climatic, then it is climatic fruits. Mango. Now, mango variety name that is mul uh, goa is a monocarpic in nature see most of the mango variety are polycarpic okay? this is this is polyembryonic in nature eh? but mango uh, this mul goa variety is monoembryonic in nature monoembryonic or polyembryonic is what in monoembryonic one seed will give rise to one seedling in polyembryonic one seed will give rise to various seedlings so two three four and eh? any one will we are alive, rest may die, but one seed will give rise to many seedlings in case of polyembryonic. When you talk about the North Indian varieties, then they are alternate bearer, monoembryonic, and self incompatible. Okay, North Indian varieties, but South Indian variety, they are regular bearer and polyembryonic. Okay. If you talk the about the chief pollinator in case of mango, then it's housefly. Okay, now when you talk about the Bombay green variety of mango. Then they are the uh, pollinizing variety. Pollinizing variety means they used to produce much pollens. Okay, so they, they this Bombay green is pollinizing variety, and they are the have the highest vitamin C. When you talk about the maturity indices, means when to harvest, then it is measured by the specific gravity. When you talk about the specific variety of the Alfonso variety, it is one point zero one to one point zero two, and the series it is one. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> as you know, that mangoes are very susceptible to the low temperature injury. Okay, that's why they should be stored above five de de degree Celsius. Now, vapor heat treatment. This is recommended for the uh, what disinfection of mangoes when you harvest the mangoes. Then it, it, they should be disinfected with the uh, through vapor hot treatment. So uh, against the fruit flies and the stone wavel. Okay. In Kanyakumari, which is the district in Tamil Nadu, two crops of mango are taken. Okay. And this mango hybridization work, this was first started by Burns and Prayag in 1911 at Pune. Now, this is one of the technique, techniques of breeding that is used in mango. And it was first used by the arancing and casing techniques of breeding was used in mango just to prevent the cross pollinations. Okay. Now, when you talk about the sugar content, or you can say good mango varieties have TSS of 20%, or, uh, or you can say that 20 degree bricks. Okay. Now, the sari variety have high fruit retentions. I miss there is 
less case of fruit drop in the seri variety. Langra variety have highest number of perfect flowers, means bisexual flowers, and the Romani variety has the lowest. Okay, Romani variety <coughs> has apple shaped shape fruits, and this Romani uh, is used for the dwarfing effect in the dasari, means the root stock of the Romani will be the insulin of the dasari. Okay, similarly, you can say all all over is used for the dwarfing effect in the Langra and Himsagar. And uh, when, when similarly, Billy Columban is used for the dwarfing effect in Alfonso. And when you talk about the Kurukam and Muvandam, these are the salt resistant variety of mango. Off season variety, it is Niranjan and Madulika and Mulgao. This is the mother of all color varieties of mango. Just we have discussed when you talk, talked about the perfect flowers, the, the flower in mango is hermaphrodite and pollination is entomophilus. I've told you that the Langra variety has the highest number of the perfect flowers and the Romani variety has the lowest. Now, when you talk about in mango crops, only 0.1% of the perfect flowers develops into or in fruits or you can say the maturity. So to overcome these problems, we can spray the 2,4-D, okay? Or to prevent the pre-harvest fruit drop in mango, you can also apply the NAA, okay? When you talk about India's contribution, then India contributes 54.2% of the total mango production in the world. Who is the leading producer of highest area under mango cultivation is in India, it is present in Andhra Pradesh, but the highest production is in UP. Okay, when we see according to the second advanced estimates of 2020-21, JBR variety has the highest TSS that is 24.8 weeks. Okay, and what is the optimum storage temperature for the mango? It is 13 degree Celsius. When you talk about the longevity of mango, then it is four weeks nearly, that is 30 days. Eh? And it's mango seed kernel contains 9.5% of the protein. Heading back for the new suits to come is done in November to December. And the pruning time in South India is for August and September. When you talk about the climate and soil, then mango can tolerate a wide variety of climatic conditions. Eh? Okay, but very humid to cool and dry to very hot and arid conditions are, very, are suitable uh, for the mango. Okay, then we can talk the temperature, then suitable temperature is 24 to 30 degrees Celsius, ideal for cultivation, and suitable pH is 6.5 to 7.5. Propagation methods, then mango stone takes nearly 15 to 25 days for these germinations. Commercial method for the Propagation is vinyl grafting that is popular in North India. It is done in April to October. And the most efficient economic and rapid method of propagation is technique is epicotyle or the stone grafting that is famous in Kokan Maharashtra. And in Arking is most popular in South India. See, when you talk about the epicotyle, these germinating seed germinating seedlings of 8 to 15 days old are used for the grafting with success rate of 75 to 80 percent. We have seen regarding the vapor heat treatment. Casing techniques to is done to for the prevent the cross pollinations. Okay, when you do the uh, canopy management, this is the mensuration of tree canopy for the uh, optimize or the production of quality fruits. Top working is done to just to uh, improve the production fruit size and quality of an old tree. Or mainly it is practiced in the orchard. Okay, polyvinyl just we have discussed. We just remember you have to remember the name of the. Uh, varieties which are polyum ready uh, uh, this is bapakai goa uh, olar kurukan solan mulgoa bereli uh, nileswa dwarf these are the polyum ready variety self impurity of mango then see you when you see the seri langra chausa bombay greens okay and uh, in, in generally in india when mango is available from mars to mid august North India cultivators, we have seen that they are alternate bearers, whereas the South India ones are generally regular bearers. Now let's discuss about some variety when you talk about the Alfonso, then the most popular variety of uh, in India, and uh, that is export quality variety. And they are but most there are many challenges as they are susceptible to the spongy tissue. And uh, Baganpalli, this is a widely cultivated in which state, Andhra Pradesh. There are uh, early maturity variety of South India. Bombay green, earliest variety, it is the earliest variety in North India. Okay. And uh, when Kochausa, this is the late, uh, this, you can call it late maturity variety of North India. 
Again, it is the sweetest variety of mango. This is the most popular variety of North India. Meat season variety it is. Firstly, indigenous variety to Bihar and West Bengal. This is late maturity. And gulab khas, indigenous to Bihar. And they are regular and heavy bearer. Himsagar, very popular in West Bengal, regular bearer. And Kesar, this is when Saurast, Gujarat, it was actually in IVPSA for 2020. This is the uh, uh, irregular bearing mangoes. Eh? Badami, also called the Alphonse of Karnataka. Langra, important commercial mango variety of North India. Eh? Biennial bearer and mid season variety. Niranjan, they are off season bearer. Nilam, a heavy yielding late season mango in South India. Regular bearing is present in this. This is ideal for good long transport. Okay. Rosica, mutant variety of mango. Madulika, they are most precious cultivator of mango. And Lal, Sinduri, this is uh, powdery, powdery uh, mildew resistant variety of mango. Totapuri, this is going on in South India. Regular and heavy variety of mango. This was also asked in IVPS April 2018. Biennial bearings or alternate bearings or irregular bearings. What it says that in one year, mango are heavy wearers crops, okay? And in very little crops they wear in the succeeding years, that is off year, okay? Most of the commercial varieties of North India, like you know, the Sahari or Langra, Chausa, they are biennial wearers, while South India, like Totapuri, Red, eh, Bangalore, or Nilam, they are, not, are regular wearers. Regular wearing varieties, Nilam, Gulab Khas, Himsagar. Again, irregular wearing, Kesar. This was also asked in IVPSA for 2020. Hybrids, also you have to remember, Malika, this is the uh, cross between Neelam and Dasari, okay? Uh, this is good in vitamin A. Uh, Amrapali, Dasari and Neelam. Ratna, it is cross between Neelam and Alfonso. When you talk about the Sindhu, it is the cross between Ratna and Alfonso. Again, you have to see, you take the screenshot, go through the important characteristics also. Uh, Arka Punit, this is Alfonso and Bengal Pali, this was developed at IIHR Bangalore, Aruna, Bangalpuri and Alfonso. Okay, they are free from the spongy tissue. Eh? Arkarmol, Alfonso into Janardhar Prasad, they are also free from uh, spongy tissue. Arka Nilkiran, Alfonso into Nilam, Ambika, Amrapali and Janardhar Prasad. Eh? Manjira, Romani into cross in, into uh, Nilam. Some varieties where they are found, Alfonso, they are found in Maharashtra, Ratnagiri, Kesar, they are found in Gujarat, Dasari, they are found in Lucknow, UP, Himsagar, they are found in West Bengal, Chausa, Uttar Pradesh, Badami Mango, Karnataka, Langra, Uttar Pradesh, Tutapuri, Bangalore, Nilam, Andhra Pradesh, and the Romani, they are found in Chennai. There are a few new variety that is released by IRI, that is Pusa Surya, regular variety, variety. They are suitable for the close planting and they are less susceptible to the mango malformations. Pusa Arunima, that is cross between our following sensation that is released in 2002. Okay. Uh, Akshay, this is selection from the Desehri. Okay. Next is Sai Suganda. This is also a hybrid Pusa uh, Lelima. Okay. This is cross between the Desehri and Sesan. Okay, Pusa Pitambar, this is cross between the Amrapali and Lal Sindhu. Okay, again, Pusa Pratiba, this is cross between the Amrapali and Sessions. Okay, now Pusa Sresh, this is cross between the Amrapali and Sessions. Okay, then these are the recently developed varieties that was released in 2012. So that also, once you see it, post harvest management, when we talk about this, then that you can see that post harvest losses in mango has been estimated in the range of 25 to 40%. Okay, vapor. Heat treatment of mangoes 46 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes helps in reduction of the, eh, the disease like anthracinose and steam in, uh, stem in rot. Okay. See, bigger size fruits take two to four more time in ripening than a smaller one. Hence, packing of the small fruits with larger ones should be avoided to achieve, achieve uniform ripening. Okay. How much relative to see mangoes? should be stored at 10 to 13 degrees Celsius to extend their self life and how much will be the relative humidity 90 to 95 percent. These are the few diseases of the mango, powdery mildew, this is a fungal disease, anthracidose, also a fungal disease, canker, a bacterial disease and the rust and algal disease. Paste, there are hoppers, mango mill, uh, milli debug, steam borer, fruit fly, steam wheel, these are the paste of the mango. 
Okay, when you talk about the physi physiological disorder, the spongy tissue due to high temperature, okay, black tip due to boron deficiency, malformation formation, this is also fungal disease, also caused due to the low temperature and clustering in mango, this is low temperature, improper pollination and fertilization and internal necrosis due to the boron deficiency, okay. Then you can take the screenshots while reading, watching the video, the, the, the complete information regarding the mango, it is available there, that is enough for the, our IUPS examination. Thank you.